Hello and welcome to Ask Henry Show. Today in the frame we have Dr. Gaurav Kapoor with us, who is the School and Skill Development Consultant. So today we're going to have an interesting conversation on why upskilling is important in today's rapidly changing job market. So hello sir, how are you? I am very well. Thank you so much for having me here. Thank you, sir. So, sir, tell me about what is your opinion on it. Uh, I think first of all, the question that you have asked is a very, very pressing question, and the entire world is today struggling to have balance between education and skill. Yes, true. I think skill base is a very, very. Uh, it's a very old story, and if you even look at our. You know, Upanishads and our stories. It goes right back from the epic of Mahabharata. Okay, true. So, understand, Dronacharya understood the skill for all the Pandavas. Yeah. Based on the skill, he actually gave the training. So, Arjuna was trained on bow and arrow. Yeah. He was trained on gada, so on and so forth. Yes. The importance of skill today is. Very closely related to how do you want the child to become, or how soon do you want the student to become more employable? So, education merely cannot give educate, uh, employability. Employment, yes. But if you look at the skill man part, and again, this skill is a very long circle, right? When we say the child is educated or the student is educated versus a student is skilled, yes, yes, yes. the chances of a skilled student. Uh, of getting the job are much higher rather than somebody who is just educated. Sure. I would also like to maybe you know uh, share another example with you, where we advocate this beautiful philosophy of it is just not the skill you also have to have entrepreneurship uh, element in this child because if you look at a regular carpenter or an electrician or a plumber, this yeah. child is maybe or this this person is skilled. But they don't have this entrepreneurship uh, element. In yeah, yes. So as a result, they always remain a plumber, but they never get into this opportunity of they could provide jobs. So while we are talking about skills, very important, but it is also important that we have the element of entrepreneurship, so that this skilled labor or the skilled person or the skilled student should be able to employ others and give them more employment. Okay. So he, uh, your opinion is that upskillment is important. Education along with skill meant and also entrepreneurship. The element of entrepreneurship is is also very important. So how will it help to like increase the uh, employability? Like because there's a lot. Uh, what I can say, there's a lot of competition that is happening. A lot of people, our candidates, our candidates or students are going for skill meant. But what is that one thing that you think the student or that candidate should have in itself so that they. So that they can win the uh, competition that is happening. What is that one thing? So if you look at the engineering profession, yes, right. I am sure all my viewers agree that ten years before, yes. these engineering colleges colleges were filled with students. True. And today, I think fifty percent of them are unemployable because they only have a degree. They do not have the skills like. Very, very, very critical skills like communication. True. They do not have skills like creative thinking, yeah. problem solving, yeah. and you will be very, very amazed to know. And I've been asking this question to all my viewers and uh, people who I talk to in the education industry. How many of us actually know the list of 21st century skills that are finally shortlisted? And I'm sure this will be very surprising. But there are 16 to 18 skills that are finally listed as a part of the university. Top five skills include communication skills. It requires students or an adult to have critical thinking, problem-solving aptitude, so on and so forth. Okay. Again, when I talk about education, merely a degree versus an engineer who is able to communicate the problem, yes. who is able to solve the problem through critical thinking. Answers are much higher, and I'll say it will be approximately seventy percent or more for this student to get involved. That's amazing. That's amazing. So, guys, this was the opinion from Dr. Gaurav Kapoor on why upskilling is important and what is the process to win the competition in the market. Thank you so much, sir, for coming and joining. Thank you, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. But don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Hindi. Thank Amin. you so much for having me. Thank you.